What's up guys and welcome to Wall Street Millennial. On this channel, we cover all things stocks and investing. In this video, we're going to go over some of the greatest gains and losses on the Wall Street Best Forum from the past week so we can learn from other people's experiences. Keep in mind that we are not financial advisors and consult with a professional before making any investment decision. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Also, these videos are made possible by our channel members who get access to these non-time-sensitive videos one day in advance. First up, we have user TU Nice, who made an unlucky YOLO on Tesla calls. He bought a massive amount of 700 strike calls expiring on April 9th, which was the closest available expiry at the time. On the day, Tesla's stock price went from $690 a share at the open to down almost 5% in one day at $661 a share. This Robinhood user sunk 150 grand into the trade, hoping to ride a quick upswing on the appreciation of his at-the-money calls. Unfortunately, after depreciating by 50% in a single day, they now have become out of the money calls. The OP says that he built up this position over the course of the day, starting at a $17 cost basis and adding to the position as Tesla stock bled out. He bought more and more contracts at cost bases of $17, $16, $13, and finally $12 per option until he ran out of money. Now the price of the option is only $8, while his average cost per option is $16. This is definitely one of the most direct straight lines down we've seen on Wall Street Bets in a while. Over the course of just one day, the play consistently bled out to the tune of a total so far of $72,000. The comment section strongly approves of this level of loss porn, with user official Tom Cruise fan saying that the OP is a true Wall Street Bets soldier. The OP responds by inviting everyone to also check out his past posts. It turns out that his old posts also feature some large Tesla losses, including this one that despite being tagged as a gain, is actually a $13,000 loss. He also posted this $66,500 loss on Alibaba calls from last year. It appears that this trader has a habit of making big dollar amount options YOLOs with a less than perfect success record. Good luck with your future plays. Next up we have user Yellow Snow Globe with a near total loss on an options play. He was all in on calls on BlackBerry for a total cost basis of about $17,000. BlackBerry stock has not been doing well in the past month, having bled out from $12 a share a couple weeks ago to $8.60 a share on April 1st. To make matters worse, his calls were not in the money or even at the money, but significantly out of the money. He had two strike prices at $16 and $20. The $20 strike price would require a 130% increase in share price just to reach the strike price, and that's not even to break even. Despite his expiries being two and a half months away, these calls are so out of the money that they are basically worthless. He is now forced to take a 98% loss on this trade. User 3 Eyed Flamingo says that if the OP just wants to get rid of money, he should just give it to him. Some other commenters are a little more sympathetic though, with user Beautiful14 saying that since there's still more than two months until expiry, the OP still has a chance. That might be a long shot though, and it seems more likely that the OP will just join the ranks of losing traders, of which there have been many in these past few weeks. Good luck on your future trades. Next up we have user jfleas 26 After losing money by trying to time Tesla, he made the unfortunate mistake of trying to short the market. Even after seeing so many Wall Street heavyweights lose money by trying to bet against the markets, it seems that some people just can't help themselves but bet against American technology and innovation. In the case of this Wall Street Bets trader, he bet against a Nasdaq composite in the form of the QQQ ETF, which is an ETF that tracks 100 of the biggest non-financial firms in the tech-heavy Nasdaq. These include some of the big-name tech stocks that everyone recognizes. This Weeble trader bought 320 strike puts on the QQQ, betting that it would go down significantly. Unfortunately for him, instead of going down, the Nasdaq has gone up significantly in the past month with relatively little realized volatility, the worst combination for someone holding puts. It increased from $310 a share to $325 a share, putting his formerly in-the-money options now out of the money. The result is that the OP has lost in excess of $17,000 on this single trade. Some commenters do not take well to the fact that the OP became a rainbow bear for this trade. User Tukon1 asked why the OP gave up those Tesla calls. If he had held Tesla calls over the past month, there is a good chance he would have made a lot of money. From the trough on March 8th, Tesla stock has increased 17.5%, which would have probably been enough to make most call plays profitable. This just goes to show the latest evidence that you should not bet against Poppy Elon. Better luck on your future plays. Next up we have user Zyros, with a very sizable loss on several names, including Blackberry, Biochris Pharmaceuticals, and Sundial Growers. In the past month, Blackberry is down about 15%, 
Biochris Pharmaceuticals is down as much as 27% from the peak, and Sundial Growers is down conservatively at least 15% from a month ago. Meanwhile, the broader market is up significantly during the same period, with the S&P 500 up more than 5% with almost no volatility, and even more gains for the Dow. Unfortunately for the OP, he was invested heavily in BlackBerry, Biochrist, and Sundial Growers, with mainly weekly calls. His overall P&L is almost completely red across the board. He does have a couple straggling gainers among his options portfolio, but gains of $37.5 and $125 pale in comparison to the magnitude of his losing positions. He lost $60,000 on a single options play on BlackBerry, and many more thousands of dollars on Sundial and Biochrist. After an especially bad day in the markets, his overall P&L all told is in excess of a loss of $115,000. Many Wall Street Bets users have been losing money on BlackBerry recently, including commenter Potato with Tomato. The OP offers some condolences to fellow traders who are currently taking losses, saying that the pain of losing on a trade just makes you stronger. Good luck with your future trades. Next we have a massive all-time gain of $300,000 on a single stock trade. User Mad Snick invested $270,000 into Riot Blockchain, which is a Bitcoin mining company with ticker symbol RIOT. Because their revenue is highly linked to the price of Bitcoin, Riot has had a monster past 6 months. They were up almost 2,000% from $2.5 a share to $52 a share. Fortunately for this Robinhood trader, he put in $270,000 into Riot back when it was less than $25 a share, and has now made 110% returns on that massive investment. The magnitude of this trade is so big that some commenters say that it is gain porn and loss porn at the same time, referring to the fact that the one day return of minus 2% amounts to a significant $12,000. However, even a $12,000 loss doesn't really stack up much against the backdrop of a $300,000 all-time gain. Other commenters suggest selling some covered calls on the stock in order to de-risk. Selling covered calls entails holding at least the same amount of stock as the number of calls that you sell, such that you collect the premium of the calls but are hedged if the stock price goes up. When you use this strategy, you still participate in some of the gains if the stock goes up, but the gains are capped at the strike price of the calls. If the stock does go down, you lose money on account of the stock that you hold becoming worth less. But no matter what happens, you still got paid the amount of the premium when you sold the calls. Because of this, selling covered calls can help reduce your overall risk if you are long the stock. Despite the incredible amount of money that was made by this Robinhood user, some commenters still cannot help but point out the status of the OP's phone battery. Maybe he can use some of that 300k to buy an upgrade battery for his phone. Congratulations on your life changing gains. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this video. If you like the content, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for future videos. Also, make sure to check out our second channel, WSM Research, where we post DD on high growth stocks. Finally, follow us on TikTok and Instagram, and we'll see you in the next video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Wall Street Millennial, signing out.